Let's do vector arithmetic in ordered set notation. First, vector addition. If I have two vectors, and if I want to add them, what I do is add the components. It is really that simple. 7 minus 4 is 3, 2 plus 5 is 7, negative 1 plus a negative 3 is negative 4. So that might bring up the question, if this is so easy in ordered set notation, why don't we use it more in physics? That's a great question. Let's move on. Let's take a look at this graphically and see how it works. I have another vector addition problem in two dimensions. The vector 2, 3 plus the vector 4, 1 is equal to the vector 6, 4. So that means the point at the tip of the first vector covers two units along the x-axis and three units along the y-axis. And if I go from that point, that means the second vector covers a length of four units in the x-axis and covers a length of one unit along the y-axis. So remember how we added vectors in descriptive form, it's exactly this way. You put the tail of the second at the tip of the first, and the resulting vector goes from the tail of the first to the tip of the second. Well, when you do that, you can see from the graph that the resulting vector covers six units along the x-axis and four units along the y. So adding the components in the ordered set notation is exactly like adding the vectors graphically. Now let's do multiplication by a scalar. You simply multiply the components by the scalar. So if a has an ordered set of 7 to a negative 1, 3a is 21, 6, and negative 3. If b is 4 meters and 1 meter, then negative 2b has an ordered set of negative 8 meters, negative 2 meters. Notice that this means the value of the scalar magnifies the magnitude of the vector, and the negative sign switches the direction. For example, here I have a vector in ordered set notation of 2 and 1. Negative r, then, would be negative 2, negative 1, which represents the vector of the same magnitude but pointing in the opposite direction. If I have 2r, that's 4, 2, a vector twice as large, pointing in the same direction as the original, whereas negative 2r is a vector with a magnitude twice as large and pointing in the opposite direction. Now subtraction. Remember, subtraction, a minus b, is simply a added to negative 1 times b. So we just use our rules for vector addition and multiplication by a scalar. For example, if I take the vectors I had above and I subtract them instead, b times a negative 1 is positive 4, negative 5, 3. So then when I add it to a, I get 7 plus 4 is 11, 2 plus a negative 5 is negative 3, negative 1 plus a 3 is 2. And for this other one, if I subtract those two instead, a is still 2, 3, negative b then is negative 4, negative 1, and if I add them together, I get negative 2 and 2. So that's vectors in the ordered set notation, a notation that makes vector arithmetic really simple.